Good morning. Today is January 22nd, I believe. Um, yeah, January 22nd. 22nd is a Sunday. And I've been up listening to the word of God. I listened to uh, Social Dallas go deep. And I was just like, sir, sir. And now I'm listening at, to the beginning of Cuff to Comments. And I'm like, I haven't even got five minutes here. And I'm like, sir, sir, Pastor Mac, T Mac Todd, come on. Social Dallas, come on. So going deep, like 2023, their church is going, going deep. My church is doing manifested promise. Um, and our bishop at our church is like, you know, speaking the words and I actively see God moving and doing things. And it's crazy because last, last week, the God, I'm sorry. So I should say the week prior to last week, because last week we are now in a new week. It is Sunday. So the week prior to last week, I was on fire doing the fast. Great. And it was a challenge. It was a challenge. But I was like, thank you, Lord, for giving me the strength, praying. Da, da, da. And last week, <laughs> it's so funny because the every week it was a different fast. And so the fast changed to more of a Daniel fast. And I was like, this ain't nothing. I was talking to my friend. I was like, this ain't nothing. I was like, I already eat like this anyway. I do a lot of beans and lentils and um it's not a lot. Like I don't, I don't consistently eat meat like that. And it was just a situation where like clearly the enemy was like, oh, it's easy. Okay. And so <laughs> let me turn the fire up. And so I was just like, by the end, like, it was like Thursday and it was just like, God, I can't, I can't do this. And I didn't finish the flash. I didn't finish the evening fast. I, and the funny thing is like, I ended up staying at my mom's house and she was like, you want such and such for breakfast? And I took a piece and I was just like, I was like, I forgot I'm on this fast. I was like, I do like, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so used to being on autopilot. I don't even think about what I'm, I just, and just go and don't think about what I'm putting in my body because my issue is snacking and I be so busy at work, at school. If I don't make myself sit down, then I will not eat the entire day. And it'll, so it'll be the end of the day and I'm like starving and then, or I'm eating their candy, their treat candy, eating the, the treats that I get them, like a goldfish, what I'm not supposed to have because I have a gluten sensitivity. I'll be eating the chips, which I don't need. I'll be eating go, uh, Starburst or Skittles. Yes, was it yesterday? I And so Friday, I went through the morning, I was fine. And it was, but it was, it started with that sea of like, unconsciously taking tuna and I was like I took a pinch and I was just like I'm on a fast I'm not supposed to have this then on the next day because I didn't finish it I finished out my fast and then that night I got home and I was just like I was eating eating and I was just like this food that I made it's not on our food like unconscious not even thinking about it because I'm just making what I'm used to make autopilot so then Thursday, like I had a rough day at the end of the day. I, and I, I, I consciously checked out. I was like, God, I can't, I can't do this. And so Friday, I was out, I was out of the park. Did I eat, did I eat, uh, I think I had like portobello ravioli or something like that. And it was just like, was that something I could eat? Yes. For dinner, I went and had pho. Was that something I was supposed to be eating? No. <laughs> and I was just like, God, I can't. This was like the worst week. And I talked to my friend the next day and I was just crying about a situation. And she was like, girl, she was like, 
that was not you failing the fast. That was God showing you an area where you need to submit to him on and to, to open your eyes on something you need to work on. So you need to set a plan. And I was just like, It was so funny because it was just like I literally was talking to her the uh, days before. No condemnation. And God, is, and God was like showing me these things. And yet I am condemning my own self. God is not condemning me. He just wants me to go deeper in him. He still wakes me up every morning to spend time with him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to spend time with you and to seek your face and to get to know you, Lord. And so that's why it was just like crazy because like this message of 2023 go deep and I listened to it and I was just like that's literally all God is asking me to do is go is, and this fast was just showing me areas I need a plan and I need to be consistent in that plan I cannot live in autopilot I can't check out where my coping mechanism up to this point is to check out so that I don't have to emotionally deal, mentally deal. I'll just go on autopilot. I can't go on autopilot. How did I go on autopilot? My first, and the funny thing is my first, the weekend prior to, I slid into a ditch. Autopilot, because I took that ramp. And I, and it was just like, I was just driving. But was I consciously driving? I can't say I was because I took that ramp so many times. Autopilot. Don't. I cannot live in autopilot because apparently God is trying to show and do something. And if I live in autopilot, I'm going to miss it. So I need to work the plan. Write the plan. Write the vision. The things that I need to do in this earth. And I need to be present and seeking him it's funny because in the social uh dallas message he was talking about at the end psalms 42 as the deer panteth for the waters and i literally was reading that and if you will go back into one of my earlier videos and these videos currently they're not they're not released they still because i took them down i don't know when them they're supposed to be released but i know they are supposed to be released but right now it's private. Everything is, all, all, most of them are posted to my Facebook. Um, I mean, not my Facebook, my YouTube. But this is going to bless somebody. I don't know who's going to bless, but I thank God for the deliverance that they received from me speaking the words of my journey. I thank you, Lord, for them going deeper. He talked about a tent. And as you, you get stretched, it's definitely last year I felt stretched. God was moving. And this year, I, I definitely feel that God is trying to get me to go deeper in him. And it's funny because as I try to go deeper, I feel almost like I'm losing those things that I used to have like it would just be right on my brain on the top of and why am I losing those things because I'm not going deeper I'm not delving into it chewing on and not rehearsing like I used to the things that I did five years ago came I can't like that's not gonna it's not gonna stay relevant and current in my mind like as I changed my career as I changed my as my my schedule changed. I fell back on those things where autopilot, where the do, fell back in doing those things that I used to do consistently. That used to, that I used to be able to speak that uh, those words. That I used to be able to call those things. That I used to sing consistently. And I talked about that in, a, in an earlier video about how I used to sing praises to God and song used to be on my head like this. And so I actively felt those things fading. Why? Because I was not resting in those things, in those praises, in those songs, in those scriptures. It was not being, I was creating a new heart, but was that heart filled on things of God? what is true, what is lovely, what is pure, was what, like those things that give, that's put my heart and turn my heart and my mind towards him. Was I dwelling and resting in those things? Consistently? No. And so 
I thank you, Lord, for that revelation. I ask for your forgiveness because I omitted those things that you would have me do that would be pleasing to your side, but also draw me near to you. And please forgive me for those who did not, who came across my path that I was not, I was not in position to minister to, to speak to, to, to bless, to seek, to, uh, to turn their hearts back to you, to give them a word of encouragement, to bless in what, whatever way you are, to be a vessel for you. Lord, please forgive me in those moments. And please, I ask that you continue to reveal those things that need to be, to be stripped away in me, but also prune, prune whatever does not need to be part of me so that I can be grow in you as you will have me to grow. Lord, I thank you for allowing me to see things that I need to work on, but I also ask that you continue to pour into me your spirit so that I may be able to be your vessel of praise, honor, and worship. All I want to do is bless your name, Lord. All I want to do is give you glory, honor, and praise. I thirst for you, Lord, like a deer. But I thank you, Lord, for allowing me to replay those things in my mind that you have done so far. And I thank you, Lord, for for those things that you will do, Lord. But more so, I think I rest in the fact that you are a God who is great. And if you did not do another thing, you are mighty. You are good. You are sovereign. And you are the I am. Everything is you. You are everything. And we thank you, Lord, that you have a master plan. And so I ask that you work your plan through me, Lord. Allow me to be your vessel. Show me the ways. And thank you for showing me so far. And please continue to reveal to me through, through stumbled steps, through too many bite, bit, bites. <laughs> but also thank you, Lord, for allowing me to have... Uh, accountability partners in different part areas of my life where I can check in and they can also check me in back to you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for your angels and your Holy Spirit speaking. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For those whose hearts are being turned back to you, I ask that you break up that fertile ground. Break up so it will be making fertile ground. Break up the hard hearts, Lord. Break up those hard hearts. Break up those those rocky grounds in the mind, Lord, so that they may be fertile ground so that we can speak life. Your word has power. You have. You are not a God that will lie. And you attend to your word. So, Lord, I thank you, Lord, for attending to your word that shall be spoken in the land. I thank you, Lord, for such a time as this. I thank you, Lord, for allowing me to be your vessel in such a time as this, Lord, to give you honor, glory, and praise. You are good, Lord. You are good. Your mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. You are good. Your mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.